Welcome back. I'm Corey, and I'm an arena junkie. We last left off going 4 and 1 with our raging worgen cruel taskmaster something deck. I don't know. I don't have a good name for it. Rage mechanic. But we're going to jump back into the fray and see if we can rack up a couple more wins. Garrosh versus Jaina. How are you doing today, Jaina? You asked for it. I did not. I choose victory. Oh god, knowing I said that, I'm probably going to wind up having to concede. Berserker, Cleave, Rampage. Good card, not right now. Great card, not right now. Um, in case she pulls out something like a mirror image or something, I actually think I'm going to keep that Cleave. I got my Rampage back. Damn. And she goes second. That's not great for us. I don't have any turn one plays. Oh, is she gonna mail one coin mirror image? That would be a terrible. Yay! No good play from her. Hmm. I could cruel taskmaster. I don't really want to though. Um. I'd rather armor up. We use the cruel taskmaster to ping a one health thing she might throw at me, and I might be able to use my commander next turn. If I do that, she's gonna have three mana and the coin. She might fireball it. She might polymorph it. <laughs> it's time for a little blow. Uh, well, that's a real problem. If I put out my horse on a commander, he's definitely gonna just punch it, and then he's going to ping with fireball next turn, which is gonna force me to do something like cool taskmaster to kill it. Hmm. But then he still has one mana left to play with. He probably won't be able to do anything with one mana. What do I do if I don't play right now? Throw the cool Taskmaster. It dies anyway. I think it's probably for the best if I sack it. So far, you're not getting very much use for us on Commander other than just to die. Well, at least you're kind of like a taunt that doesn't have taunt. People want to kill you. Yep. And yep. Completely expected. Do you have any one cost thing? Mm, come on. Come on. Come on. No. Come on. You could at least throw out something that has two health so I cannot waste my cleave. That would be nice. I would appreciate if you can do that for me. Uh, apparently, you're not going to do anything, though. <sighs> How sad. Alright, well, I can't let you keep this, so it's dead. And I'm just gonna armor up. So, that happened. Um, he's a weakling. You're not gonna polymorph or anything else him. You might throw down a spell power thing. That'd be kind of annoying. What else can you do? Oh, that's a pretty good card. Oh. Mind if I roll need? Ah, loot order. Cool. Um, how do I want to do this? I think I want to use cleave here, but I'm gonna have to sack a minion if I do it. Unfortunately, I don't have a good play after that. Um, if I punch him in the face, I'll probably take two damage, but he may use his Scarlet Commander no. instead of the loot hoarder, but then I'm kind of risking uh, then I'm kind of risking him doing something rather than me being proactive about it. Um, I have five mana this turn, which isn't a good amount for what I could do. I can reset the board, but then that doesn't really help me too much. No. I think what I want to do is actually put out the Dragonling mechanic because then he may actually sack his shield no into one of them. And that way, I can get better use out of this cleave. Because the cleave's not going to be very useful to me if all it does is kill a single minion and pops a bubble. That's not great utility. It's much better if it actually just kills something outright. Um, and I need to get more minions on the field right now. And he... Mm, okay. So... How do you play this? Well, you're going to pop that. That's expected. Yep. That makes sense. And then you're going to 
sack the loot hoarder. Darn. Okay. But then you're just gonna hit me with that thing, which makes sense. That thing's much more dangerous if you don't. Darn, I really should have used the cleave at some point. Well, that's unfortunate. Um, at this point, I think the right play is actually Defender of Argus. He'll probably sheep or otherwise incapacitate my taunt, but then I can at least... I have a target that could act as a Rampage target, and I can armor up. Um, and I'll actually just hit you, and we'll see how you react. You probably have a Fireball. That instantly kills it. Um, sheep nullifies it. It's very susceptible to silence right now, and you have a lot of cards in your hand, so there's a lot of things you could do here. And being a mage, you probably have a million options. I'm surprised you haven't drawn a freeze card of some kind yet. Maybe you just didn't get the chance to draft one? Hmm. No, what mage doesn't have a freeze of... Really? Wow! You had no better option than to do that? That's very surprising. Well, okay. I'll do this. And I'll take your Scarlet Crusade out. And I'll even put out my Cult Master. You might have a Flame Strike, but boy, it'd be a waste to do it. And it would give me a card. Realistically, if you kill anything but the Cult Master on this turn, you're kind of not doing a good job. Oh, there it is. Well, actually, this should get me a card. Oh, no, because it killed it on the same turn. That's disappointing. Still, I managed to make you use a blizzard, which is interesting enough. Um, Boulder Fist Ogre will probably get polymorphed. I'd rather... Ugh. But it lets me do something else, which is like armor up or something. It's also a very scary minion, which is why he would probably polymorph it. Ravenhold Assassin, you really can't get rid of. Got a problem. So I'm going to put you out there and see what you can do for me. He's really just building up a lot of cards. That makes me a little bit nervous. But I did manage to get him to waste at least one AoE removal on a pretty bad trade. Two for one on Blizzard, um, especially when there's no strong minions on the board, like a strong board presence there, um, is not a good trade in my opinion. I think you should at least get three for one or kill two and stun a few others, freeze a few others so you can ping them next turn. Um, I don't know. I don't... I don't know what else he has in his hand right now that he's nervous enough not to play it. Um, he's obviously going for some really super late game combo of some kind. Because otherwise he shouldn't be holding that many cards in his hand. Um, he may have several Pyroblasts, maybe some spell damage or some cost reduction to where he can do that. Um, I don't know. I don't know how to judge how he's playing right now. Come on, make a choice. Alright. And now what? You better play something soon, or you're gonna run out of time and have four minutes. There you go, Blade Master. That's pretty good, actually. Um, How do I want to take care of this? I really don't want to throw... Hmm. I could double cleave and just kill him. And that would leave me with five mana. I could throw out my Arathai Weaponsmith. What now? Hit him with my Ravenhold Assassin. Keeps his board clear. Um, I actually kind of hate to do that, but at the same time, I think it's the right move. I could hit him with my Arathai Weapons... Or I could hit him with my... Yeah, yeah with my Arathai my Ravenhold and then Rampage it, that brings it back up to a 10-4, but then he'll just nuke it down. I, I don't think he'd leave that alive. So I think we're going to double cleave. It's not great value, but I do actually need to take him out. I need to put some pressure on him. I think that's a good way of doing it. Um, he'll need to put out another spell power minion if he wants to burn a lot of cards to make that happen. He's going to have to put out another spell power minion if he wants to flame strike these to death. Mm, okay. Vaporize or something else. I don't know. Oh, okay. 
You have another one? Or are you just gonna kill it with an ice lance combo? No, maybe. Don't know. Oh, you're gonna ping one of my armor off. That's highly unfortunate. All right, what could it be? It could be a mirror entity. It could be a vaporize. The fact that he froze that thing instead of my raven hold tells me it's probably a vaporize. Um, could be ice block. Could be a lot of things. I think we're gonna test the waters a little bit. And we're gonna put out a raid leader. That didn't trigger it. Um, I'd like to put out my ogre, but my concern is... What if he has something to neutralize it? I'm kind of left up a creek without a paddle. So I'd rather sit on that. It does mean sitting on some armor, though. So how do I want to play this? I think we're going to armor up. He bought a turn, because I don't want to lose my Ravenhold, and I'm almost for sure that's a Vaporize. He could be calling my bluff here. But we're going to end our turn. He easily could have just screwed with us, by the way. He, that could have been an ice. And here comes the flame strike. Damn it! Yep, I probably should have attacked him with something. Uh, we'll throw this out. We'll armor up. And we'll wait. If he has anything with two health, I want to be able to hit him with it. It does not do me any good to take him down to 14 right now. Of course, that if that is a vaporize, I'm going to lose my Boulder Fist Ogre. Come on, play something big and scary. Aw, oh, you jerk! Oh, brilliant. Don't get the Ogre! Don't get the... Damn it! That doesn't help me. Well, I'm bye, Rag. Sorry. Um, it doesn't do me any good to kill to throw him out right now, but I'm going to anyway because I need minions on the field. Unfortunately, this is exactly where he wants to be. He has a card advantage. But he does not have a health advantage, but that doesn't really matter because Mage has tons of control. And with 10 mana, they have so many options right now. Um, Gurubashi is a great example of having options. Now the real question is, how? what are you going to do? I don't have a good way of dealing with that Gurubashi Berserker if it starts going nuts. I really don't. How much control do you have left? Probably quite a bit. You could sack that into that. Yeah, that's a good way of doing it. And then what? Okay. And now, yeah. So you've been sitting on all these minions this entire game. Ugh. Okay. Well... That could still be a Vaporize, is my biggest concern right now. So I can't super buff my Kodo, my Rampage and Kodo, because um, it could just die, which is, is, is a real problem. Um, he could win this just by attrition at this point, just by having having, having card draw. Um, if I do buff it once, it takes up to a, I can take it up to a 9-9, and I can outright kill his Gurubashi Berserker. I would take it down to seven. He could then kill it next turn, but it does remove one creature off the board I don't have to worry about. What now? I think we do that because I don't see another option here that's gonna let me live. So I think we do that. And I think we see what he has up his sleeve. Which is probably a lot of things. He has lots of control options as a mage. Um, he has some pretty standard minions for having done it. The Gurubashi is actually a great example. He could ping it with his hero power and super buff it, so it had to come off the table. Hmm, mm, indeed. Now what do you do? I'm surprised you don't have a polymorph. 
because Polymorph would be a good play right now. But it looks like you're going to play a minion, maybe? A mana worm first, and then what? Ah, damn it. Yeah, you're going to freeze it. Okay. You're going to get some free hits on me. That's a good way of doing it. And then you're going to... Really? Well, I guess you really have no reason not to. Um, speaking of no reason not to... Nothing else I can do. Um, I've got to start getting anything I can on the field that can start taking care of the things he has. Um, we're both going to be top decking. Well, I'm top decking already, but he's going to be pretty soon. Um, and after this turn, I'm going to start taking actual damage instead of just armor damage. I don't know how much he was counting on Rag. I'm hoping that screwed him up a little bit. Um, really? You wouldn't do it with the Fairy Dragon? I would do it with the Fairy Dragon. I don't, don't know why you wouldn't do that. Uh, hmm. You don't know what you want to do. What is your choice? Really? Okay. I mean, you can now sack that and that to kill that and then add into that to kill that. So, I mean, that, that works. And then now my armor's gone. So, I mean, that works. Now I just have to hope I get some minions. Sure! <laughs> Whatever. Just something, damn it. Uh, you've used two flame strikes already, though, so if I get some minions and I can get some cards here and start. Ew. Oh, I could have gone better. Um, but I still get my little buddy, but now you're just gonna nuke it. Very good hero power, very versatile. And I'm. Oh, man. I'm slowly losing my board advantage. This is gonna help, though. Take that out first. Man, for a gore howl right now would be great. What else can I pull that might be nice? That's you're not helping me. Okay. And then you're gonna ping me. He may have actually done a very good job of psyching me out with his secret, whatever it is. Sometimes. I... Okay, he was waiting to make a better play on that. That's that's interesting. Yeah, spells or hero powers. That doesn't mean you can't be affected by battle cries, though, does it? Well, even if it didn't, it wouldn't matter. Uh, killing the dollar a mage at this point doesn't help me. In fact, I want to kill his other stuff more so than anything. I also don't want to put him out because he's just going to be fodder for the for that freaking Gurubashi. So, do this, and we're going to take out that thing. So that's gone, my weapon's gone. But, I don't have to worry about it anymore. Um, he does have one spell power on field, otherwise he just has a 2-5, which is moderately annoying, don't get me wrong. Oh... <sighs> now turns into the slow game of who gets luckier which could be better um i don't have any way of getting like a organ attack of any kind he's going to be doing five damage to me at least every turn from here on in um, i got nothing on the board it's a bad time for me um i can put out the sendu it won't kill any of them Unless I buff its attack. Even if he hits it with his hero power, he still would have to throw both of them into it. That's a good card. That's also a good card. Well, he had exactly what he needed. Ooh, that was a bit of a misplay. Maybe not. I think you should have attacked with the Garabashi personally, but oh well. This is bad. Um, that's seven, eight. I'm pretty sure I'm dead. This, yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm done. All he needs is a single attack. Boy, that's unfortunate. But that's mages for you. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> he pulls a damn fireball. 
Why would you even need to do that? It's completely unnecessary. Ah, uh, damn it. The light bringer. I will fight with honor. Victory or death. No, you won't. You're dead. Uh, Whirlwind doesn't help me. Cleave does. Kodo might later. But right now, none of those help me right away. I have lots of two cost cards, so I should be able to get something that helps me a lot more now. Oh, maybe, sort of. Oh, I don't know. Oh, yeah. Apparently that mage thought we played pretty well. I think we played terribly. Oh well. Um, nope. Now, if he puts out a... That's an interesting play. Why would you use that and not use it for one of... I don't understand that play at all, actually. Um, we could coin and Raging Worgen, but it... It's dead, so that's a worthless play. Really, I think our only play here is just to armor up and take the three damage. And hope he plays something with two health so that we can cleave both of them. Mm -hmm. Okay. I can be okay with this. Um, now, cleave does leave us with another mana to use, but it doesn't leave us with an efficient way to do it. Um, Cult Master isn't useful here, and it does take that thing down to one health, which we then can use a Worgen, and then Rampage him up, maybe? I don't know. We'll see what happens. But we are going to go ahead and cleave those two. And then we're going to end. The other problem, of course, with this is that our Worgen really needs... Yeah, see, that's a problem. Because even if our Worgen gets to attack... He's going to... Ooh! Okay. That's a pretty good choice. Well, sort of. I mean, it's not great. He, I think he could have probably played that better. Alright, we could coin an Arcanite Reaper, but that's a bit of a waste. We really don't have anything that we can efficiently use it on. And I'm going to stress that as efficiently using it. Um, we could got the Worgen, but he will kill it. He really won't have an option. He will throw probably his Harvest Golem and his little guy into it to kill it. Um, we could put out the Worgen and the Cruel Taskmaster. Use the Taskmaster to what? No. either pop the bubble or kill the little guy. Either one of those would not would actually be pretty advantageous. But I really prefer the idea of holding on to them to use them in some fashion together. Um, I'm not facing a lot of dangerous attacks right now. Maybe it would be better to just actually throw out the Arcanite Reaper. Alright, I choose. I wish I had done that a little bit more efficiently, but... It keeps some weapon. It keeps some creatures off the board for him, and it doesn't just throw my creatures away. So right now I'm playing the idea of trying to have a little bit more. I don't know. It may not work in my favor at all. Boy, I actually really wish I had that whirlwind I threw away now. Ugh, that was probably a little bit of a misplay by me. That's really really unfortunate, actually. Um. I think we will go ahead and put out our Hopper Stone. Okay, it's probably a, it's probably a protector. And then we will. I don't want to just sack it, and that's my problem with Cruel Taskmaster. Um, I could actually Taskmaster away a little guy though. And I think I will do that. I don't really want to use my axe on a little guy. So I'm not going to. I'm probably going to regret that because now he's going to Blessing of Kings one of these two or something. Or Defender of Argus. That would also be bad. <laughs> what else could you do? You could use both of those to kill that. 
Oh, or you can Kodo and kill one of them outright. Death rattle, yay! Ow. And that's gone at the end. Well, I'm glad I kept my axe, because now I can kill the Kodo. I'm actually really glad I kept the axe now, because now I really can kill the Kodo. Um, Cruel Taskmaster can kill the Golem, but then his buddy will kill me. Not great. Um, I can just straight up put out a Boulder Fist Ogre and say, here, deal with this. That may be the better option, actually. Yeah, let's just say deal with this and kill his Kodo. Uh-oh. Uh, <laughs> I forget. It's when an enemy attacks. Oh, I didn't know it was an enemy. I thought it was a minion. Ah, that was a misplay. That's highly unfortunate. Darn it. I actually thought it was a noble sacrifice, too, and I just I thought it was going to trigger off of the... Damn. Oh, well. That's, you, live, you live and learn. Won't make that mistake again. I'll totally make that mistake again. Um... Well, now what do you do? Seven mana... Hammer of Wrath? Give your Raging War again. Well, that's fantastic. Reporting for duty. That's just fantastic. You are making mincemeat of me. Gosh. Um, we could cleave. That runs the risk of activating his Worgen, which would be bad. I could use the Boulder Fist to kill the Worgen, though. And therefore, guarantee it won't activate it. Um, I can throw it out there, and even if it does activate it, I can Cruel Taskmaster it away. There's that as an option. Um, I can also use Rampage to buff up the Ogre, make him pretty good. Uh, I can do all three of those. Worst case scenario, I cleave. Doesn't kill the what things I want. Now? Do I take out the Kodo, or do I take out the Worgen? I take out the Kodo, because if it hits the Worgen, I can eliminate it. And then I throw my own Worgen. I shouldn't play them on either side of that. I really should not play that on either side of that ogre just to train me better for when I play against rogues, because that's that's a betrayal setup that's just absolutely perfect. Just anyone looks at that and they go, oh man, that would be fantastic for betrayal. Uh, and then he throws out a consecrate. No. Okay. Keep it up the little guy. Put your faith in the light. Well, damn it. That's a good card. Hmm. Why? Why do I have the Paladin that has Tyrion Forgering? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fine. Um. I can sap two creatures and kill them. And I can throw out the Cult Master so I at least get value out of them. I don't have to sack. Well, no, I don't. I can rampage that. Oh, well, then I will be sacking it later. Yeah. But then he's gonna have an Ash Bringer. I hope you like my invention. Mm, does it to all creatures? That doesn't help me. Alright, the 5-3 Ashbringer, that sucks. Giving him a weapon is not a fantastic situation. Because um, he's going to take out probably my Cult Master first with his little guy. And then probably... Well, no, he'll probably use that to kill the Ogre first. Because with 1 HP, he wants a gun. But he doesn't want to give me a card. And that's the important thing. He's either going to take 9 damage to the face, or he's going to give me a card... Or he's gonna leave it alive and throw out a consecrate or something and just kill all of them all at once. Your magic shall not oh, save there he goes. Okay. 
Now he'll punch there. He'll kill that. Yep. That works. Yeah, that works. Why would you ever pick a wisp? I'll put it on your hand. Oh, and you retain your silence. That's not bad. Still, why would you ever pick a wisp? Seems like such a waste. Um, how do I want to do this? I think we, Kodo. And then I think we, Arthai went to side. Oh, if you're sure. you. And I think we hold on to the weapon. And we hope that he does not have a. Oh, uh, what is it? An ooze. <laughs> Although it'd be a pretty bad use of ooze right now if he does it. Ugh. He could just rush me down, actually. If he really wanted to. We will consecrate Hammer of Wrath Undead. Justice. That's. <laughs> Is this a constructed deck? Damn it. Alright. Um, five health. He kills me next turn with his Ashbringer. Unless I can clear his board. Can I clear his board? I can. I actually can. And then what? Mm. Well played. That to this, right? You'll live. Ah, oh, damn it. That was an error. Yeah, it was stupid. I don't know what the hell I was thinking. No, nothing I can do. I'm dead. Damn it. Well played. I'll give him I'll give him the, the fun of actually killing me. I'm a good sport. That really was stupid. I mean I don't think I could have come back from that anyway. <laughs> You're an ass. Here I was being a good sport, and you blow up an Ashbringer with a true silver champion. So you had Tyrion, a guardian of ancient kings, a true silver champion. Damn it! Seriously, is a constructed deck. All right. Well, we went four and three. Better than chance. Better than I thought we were gonna get with that deck. Let's see what we got. Oh, I. Well, we got 80 gold, which isn't quite enough to pay for the run, and a card. Pack of cards. So we did better than if we would have just bought the pack. But we did not complete any of our dailies, which is sad. Let's see what we got in the pack, and we'll be done. Uh, and that's what we got. Nothing terribly great. All right. And that's the end for Hearthstone for now. 4-3, Warrior. I guess we'll just have to give it another go. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video and want to see more, like, favorite, subscribe. All those things help me out, and I would greatly appreciate them. We'll be back, because we are an arena junkie. See you next time.